Hey you guys, Big Rob here. Now, we are halfway through the build of the Sissy Bar, but I thought I'd better go back and try and make some sort of intro for us. So basically the story is, my bike comes standard with a Sissy Bar, uh, which is lying around my father-in-law's shed somewhere. Yeah, so the Sissy Bar, whilst it would be functional for what I kind of wanted to do, I think it looked like crap. I wanted something different, um, and my father-in-law is a mad genius when it comes to just making stuff. I've got no plan, I just kind of went to him and said, Here's my sissy bar, I want one bigger and something is like, yeah, let's fucking bend it up and blah, 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 blah. So that's what he's done, that's what we're doing. He's mainly doing it because he knows what he's doing. I've got no fucking idea. And um, yeah, let's see how it turns out. So yeah, it's not really gonna be, it's not a tutorial on how to make a sissy bar. This is a what we did, what he did, what we've done. Basically, there's probably gonna be a time lapse with bits of incoherent swearing in between. So yeah, let's do that, fuck it. So, yeah, so the, the aim for the sissy bar was noisy. The aim for the sissy bar was basically have a twice the length of the stock one because the stock one's a piece of shit. Um, yeah, so bench it up twice because shit fucks up, and um, now we're just going to cut the ends off it and I guess figure out how we're going to mount it onto or flatten it out so we can bolt it in. So what I'm thinking of doing is actually having that so there on the plate so we'll say there like that yep and it's got to sort of follow that angle doesn't it yeah yep and then what we might do is put a plate in between so we can bolt it and then make them maybe another one from here up here and bolt it on okay it's, it's stiffener yeah cool all right so we'll go sort of straight up and put up on the height just to give it a bit more strength yeah cool all right so yeah that. Okay, good. Very happy with that. Very happy. That's why he's the smart one doing this because I would have cut those bits off and then tried to polish them afterwards. It would have probably fucked it all together, but he's a man with the experience on it all. So, what we have here is a roughly three foot sissy bar. I mean, it looks ugly. I haven't cleaned it all off and uh, made it all nice and shiny yet because I'm going to use it for a little bit first before I spend too much time cleaning it all up. But essentially, what we have is a three foot sissy bar made from, uh, was it 12, 13 mil stainless steel pipe? Uh, so, yeah, straight up, just bent around bit of a triangle to uh, to make it all a bit more solid and rigid I mean it is very solid and then it just bolts onto the standard Kawasaki Vulcan Nomad Lance log CC bar bracket cross the beam there for uh, for support one up the top there for me to strap the GoPro to which keeps moving but this is it all right so yeah the uh, the new addition to the bike all right Let's keep riding. Sound around all day isn't much fun. Sit 
thanks for coming with me on a little bit of a journey there through making a sissy bar for the Kawasaki Vulcan Nomad 1500cc of pure lang slog and again if you were expecting a uh, a tutorial on how to make one well look elsewhere there are plenty of people that can do it we just get pretty much eyeballed and and did it all didn't they even have the bike they just had the bracket kind of made it all up and thought this all this will do fuck it so yeah thanks for watching if you've made it this far if you are new to the channel please hit that like button hit subscribe you don't have to turn on notifications if you don't want you can i would appreciate it It'd be really cool if you did if you did like what I've, I've done here, check out some more videos and we'll go from there. If you didn't like it, well, I am very sorry, but uh, it is what I've done. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. Big Rob out. Wow.